you've been hammered over countless things. I just want to ask you about a couple of them. One is, is the comment that you made about the title of the program violating the First Amendment. Can you elaborate a little bit on what you meant about that? <laughs> I don't think that's what I said. You said that they, they turned government into our God. I said that. Uh, no, I didn't say that. Uh, and there's an, these uh, programs that you mentioned uh, that Obama has going with Reed and Pelosi pushing them forward are all entitlement programs built to make government our God. And that's really what's happening in this country is a violation of the First Commandment. We, are, we have, have become a country um, entrenched in idolatry, and that idolatry is the, is the dependency upon our government. So a couple other things that, that get brought up when you said that if things don't turn out the right way in this election, people may seek first, uh, Second Amendment remedies. What, what, what did you mean by that? What are Second Amendment No, remedies? I don't think that was well, exactly the way I well, you, said you, it. You tell me. Forget okay. I you know, if this, this Congress keeps going the way it is, people are really looking toward those Second Amendment remedies. They're saying, my goodness, what can we do to turn this country around? And I'll tell you, the first thing we need to do is take Harry Reid out. And it's not just Nevadans that need to get in this game. Okay, and then, and then finally, uh, the, the one where the radio host was talking about how there are domestic enemies mm -hmm. in Congress. Mm -hmm. And you said, I agree. Can you... Again, we, in context. In context. That's why I'm asking. I want the context. In, in context, we were talking about the policies of the um, government that have really um, uh, caused problems for us in the last 18 months. We But do you think... And that, that's what we were talking about. But do you think we have, I mean, do we have domestic enemies in the halls of Congress in the sense of, you know, as you were talking about, uh, you know, all enemies, foreign and domestic, do, do we have enemies of the country in the halls of well, Congress? Well, certainly people who pass these kinds of policies, Obamacare, cap and trade, stimulus, bailout, they're certainly not friends to the free market system. So, so what are they? <laughs> <laughs> They're not friends. <laughs> you know that is not a friendly. Uh, that is not friendly to to uh, building a free market system and more jobs. And that's that's the context that we were talking about. And I think that you bring up something that's very important. Your U.S. senator is has a vote on confirmation of judges, and we need to have someone there that understands the Constitution and will confirm only those judges who also understand that the strict construction of the Constitution is what is really important to our freedoms, and we have to have judges that will strictly uh, uh, interpret it and not go out there and say this is some li living doc document that we can interpret any way we like. You know, I, I, uh, I talk often about this, uh, this oath that they give, and um, it is to uh, defend the Constitution and all of that, but one of the things that's very important to me in this oath that they give is that they will defend against foreign and domestic enemies. Yes, yes. We have domestic enemies. We have home-born, home-grown enemies in our system, and I, for one, think we have some of those enemies in our own, in the walls of the, uh, of the Senate and the Congress. Yes, I think you're right, Bill. All right. Uh, Doug, thanks for the call. Kurt, you're next up here on News Talk 780 KOH. Hello.